the Hummingbird Medal may be awarded for loyal and devoted service in any field of human endeavor or for gallantry or other humane action to the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. The Hummingbird Medal Gold is today awarded to the following persons. Mr. Azamuddin Khan, retired, in the sphere of community development. Mr. Azamuddin Khan excelled in all levels of scout leadership training, completing three levels of scout leadership training, culminating in the award of his Wood Bad Beach, which is the highest level of scout leadership training. Mr. Khan gave back his knowledge and experience to the youth of Trinidad and Tobago for a further 20 years by joining the national training team. Mr. Khan demonstrated resilience, durability, dedication, and all the components of good management. Mr. Khan rose to the top of scouting to be the national scout commissioner in charge of scouting in Trinidad and Tobago and held that portfolio for six years. Azamuddin Khan, the Hummingbird Gold, this year's 19, 2024 Republic Day function. For community work, development, and my years in scouting, rotary, etc. I immediate response to this achievement for this Hummingbird Gold Medal. I felt elated. Elated that um, service is recognized. Very often, Voluntary service is not recognized as much as it should be. And I appreciate the fact that if I have done well, I have done well because I've stood on the shoulders of persons who went before. The others who follow in, hopefully they will take the flame and carry it further. And volunteering in areas in Trinidad and Tobago, as I said, is not always recognized as it should. My appeal ongoing is that County um, corporations, uh, boroughs, city councils should spend more time recognizing the volunteers in their own area. I am fortunate right now that I got a hummingbird goal after 60 years. I'm not complaining. However, I am saying that there are persons who are doing great service for Trinidad and Tobago in all these districts and they are not recognized. Cedros, Moruga, Sandy Grandi. They are persons who are 15, 20, 30, 40 years in scouting or in other voluntary service, not necessarily scouting, because the fabric of our society has to be intertwined. But one of the foundations really is how much time and effort persons are volunteering to make their community first a better place, then their city, then Trinidad and Tobago, and if we're fortunate, the world. Right now, I am an honorary Scout Commissioner. My last position held was National Scout Commissioner of Trinidad and Tobago. I've been in scouting since 1956, been in uniform continuous. 66 years this year, that will make it a thing, 67 years this year, of which 60 years have been in a leadership role. As a leader, person, the 5th Naprima Scout Group. That's why I'm wearing my blue necktie, 5th Naprima. And I got the opportunity to develop leadership skills, opportunity to assume a number of um, Assistant District Commissioner and District Commissioner of San Fernando, International Commissioner later on, and part of the National Training Team. 
I became National Scout Commissioner a few years ago. That scouting is not military, nor are we paramilitary, para right? It's a voluntary, voluntary, nobody gets paid. And the fact that we spend sometimes with more young people, if with the intent to try to make them better, better citizens, Nobody come into scouting. I didn't come into scouting in 1956 wanting to be a better person. I wanted to come and enjoy myself with the boys on the play. But if the games that we play, the disciplines that we um, arrange without uh, realizing that they're being disciplined to be a better person, that makes scouting great. Scouting is the largest youth organization in Trinidad. It may not seem so because you don't see enough scouts all the time. You may be seen more and more on their Facebook with the recency. If I just take some quick words from our um, Scout Laws, trusty, loyal, helpful, brotherly, courteous, kind, obedient, smiling, thrifty, pure in body and mind. With work chores like that, you know, if you even practice 50% of it, you will be a better person. Certainly, if funds are always required, there's a certain subvention we get from government, pretty small. But we need more leaders also. In the 60s, up to the 60s, etc., going into the 70s, most of our leaders were teachers. The highlight of a teacher's life was going to training college. The highlight of a teacher's life, and therefore they had a lot of time. The highlight of a teacher's life now, if they are not doing a second degree, they're way behind. And therefore more time is taken up in their own education and less time is being volunteered towards the youth and that's a very important because we all have, and i'm using the word over and over about volunteers and volunteerism that has to be recognized how much we could give you don't see the results right now i was happy yesterday at the ceremony that two persons came up to me who were scouts maybe about 30 40 years ago and remember me i can't remember them <laughs> but you know and they said thanks that is where you have the effect. It's not today. As I said originally, we stand on the shoulders of others with the intent that if others who are falling to take that flame and do better than we did. And that is always important. You're not putting down the other persons. You are doing better than they did. I had a scout master who happens to be the uncle of Ivan Tulsi, was my scout master, George Sami. Fantastic person. And it's because of him when I left scouts, the age of scouts, I accepted the fact that, hey, they volunteered to, for us to enjoy ourselves. Therefore, it's for us now to volunteer, to give to the other persons, the younger persons, that opportunity to enjoy scouting. And if you're lucky, a few of them will stay on, I don't know if they'll stay on 60 years, but they will certainly stay on and provide a better environment.